Hello and welcome to the final installment of Complex Line Types in AutoCAD. This would be part four. In this version, we're going to talk about um, shapes and compiling shapes and how to use those. In the previous version, as you can see, we've done text. You can do all different kinds of lines. But let's move down and see what we actually can do. All of these lines here are created in AutoCAD, but they're using shapes, complex shapes to actually create lines. Now, whether you want a footprint or a hand, you can do all of these. These are done in AutoCAD, as you can see. I'm going to type line type at the command prompt. I'll just show you that these line types are actually AutoCAD-based line types. And you can see in my window there that I have all these line types for different types of things in AutoCAD and all depicted from shapes. So how do we do that? Let's make one. Let's go to my lines drawing. We have our line again, which is 1.5 units in length. So I'm going to make a shape. A shape has to be something fairly simple, small. It can't have a hatch in it, So, but we do want the solid to depict it. So what I'm going to do is draw a circle. I'm going to do the midpoint of here. We'll do a circle and an arrow. We'll make it about that big. <clears throat> Move that out of there just so we can see. Now I'm going to draw a polygon. And then we'll have three sides and then we'll just put the nearest so we can kind of see where it's at like that and then we'll stretch it what we're going to do we're going to make some shapes so let's scale this one down just a little bit we're going to kind of make it look like um like a water line so to speak end point and we'll do 0.7 okay, so we have two shapes so let's make some shapes out of these two entities here so what I want to do how do I get the solid in there well actually I have to hatch that but I'm going to use an ANSI 31 in a tight pattern you see, you see that doesn't help me too much but I'll select the other one there and then I'm just going to double click my hatch and we're going to change the scale you see how I'm doing this I'm just changing the scale so it's like very 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 small but I'll just go up here and change it myself 0.02 so that gives a nice tight hatch, and then we'll match the properties of this one. Match properties here and here. You probably don't need it that tight because when you zoom out, you can see you can't even tell. But now we're going to explode. Type explode at the command prompt. Explode it because, like I said, you can't shape, make a shape. You can't have a hatch in a shape. It won't recognize it. So there's our two shapes for our line type. So up on the home tab on the ribbon <clears throat> on Express Tools, we're going to go down to tools again and we're going to have make shape so we're going to make shape and what it's going to do AutoCAD is going to throw you out sort of like the line types and tell you what shape you want and I'm going to call this circle and then it's going to ask me for my name of the shape call it, we'll just call it CR and then resolution leave it default and the base point we're going to hold down my shift key and we want the center point of that object there and then I'm going to select my objects and you'll see down there on the command line, it says that how big your shape file is and that it was created and added to the current drawing. So let's make it for the arrow. Make shape. We don't want to touch this one. We're going to make it separate. We're going to compile those together. I'll show you how to do that. AR. We're going to hit the resolution and we're going to hit the endpoint of here. Endpoint. And then we're going to select our objects. So there we have, we have a, a shape named AR and a shape named CR. So we're going to erase these. We don't need these anymore, so we're just going to type shape at the command prompt. I can hit a question mark, and I'll show you, you know, what shapes are actually in my drawing, CR and AR. I'm going to type shape, and type CR to insert it into my line type. Do midpoint, and hit enter. I'm to shape, AR type nearest actually I'm better at holding down the shift key <clears throat> nearest there so we have it on our line because we're going to use line type command. well this is um it's going to be too big what I'm trying to do is some sort of a ditch line so let me turn my turn my ortho on And we're going to scale down. We can scale this down now, too, now that we've got it. So you can't pick, um, you notice how I can't pick the center of a shape? I knew that was the center point of the line, so I'm just going to scale it that way. So scale, and then the midpoint, and we'll do 0.5. So there's our dot. So I'm going to move this out, 
And now I'm not, for just for um for speed, I'm gonna copy this three times. One. Pretty cool. So there's our, our shape and our line. Let's move this, these objects to the middle here, because this is what we want it to look like, our line. Now normally I would um I'm gonna break. I would make this more mention it and get it all you know perfect. But that's what our our line wants to look like. We want a line like that. So now that we have these shapes, we have them in our drawing. How do we make the line type? Same concept. Make line type. I'm going to go back out to my line. I'm going to make a new thing called shapes, shape line. And enter the line type name. Just say ditch flow. And then ditch arrow with flow. Starting point again would be the end point of here. And the end point over here would be the end point here. Now we're going to select our objects, our shape, 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 line. And it said ditch flow was created and loaded. So let's take a look at what that actual, that line actually is. I'm going to hit my properties, control one to make sure I'm, I'm actually um, just drawing a straight line. So I'll draw a circle. And then I'm going to change this. And I'm going to go over here and change my properties. You see I have ditch flow line. Look at that line. Isn't that cool? So that's a line type in AutoCAD using a shape. And it looks pretty good. I mean, you've got an arrow with three dots. Now, the only caveat or only situation you have to realize, when you start making these shapes, you have to compile them. So right now, if I go out here and right-click and open my file location, I have these SHP files here. Now, if I double-click it, it's just... There's the CR and here's the shape. So what you need to do is you need to compile them together. So what compiling does is creates an SHX file. So you have to type compile. If This is if you're going to create a library. If you're just creating your current drawing, you just have to make sure those shapes are in your current drawing. So I'm going to type compile at the command prompt. I'm going to go out to my line types. I'm going to hit arrow. And what happens is it made something called arrow.shx. Now, just like line types, what I what I really want to do if I was making a library, I'm going to open my file location. I would hit arrow, that one. I'd copy this. Then I'd go into my circle. I'd come down here and paste it. And then I'd save this as you know, my company shapes. lines or something to that nature then you'd have both of these shapes AR and the CR in one file that you load up on your template file in your drawing so it's there each and every time then you compile that again you have to compile it because it it, it it takes it down I, I don't know where that file is but it takes it it takes the bytes down and, and it makes it an SHX file which sometimes can be confusing because of fonts and things like that but it's more of taking instead of having 50 individual shapes you have one compiled shape file that you give to somebody you're not giving all these different 50 shapes away anyway that is part four on how to create line types using complex shapes in Autodesk AutoCAD